Hi guys and welcome back to Keep Smiling Adventures and some trips are tough, some trips are wet and some trips are really really hilly but you know what today I feel like going on the flattest possibly the easiest bikepacking trip in England. This right here is the Grand Union Canal running from London all the way to Birmingham. Around 140 miles of canal. And that's right, we are going to follow it from London to Birmingham in maybe two or three days with some wild camping and well, these beautiful blue skies. For once, we're not going epic. We are going to be following the longest canal in England. 140 odd miles starting in London. Let's do it. Now this trip should be pretty straightforward, being a canal there is no climbs, there's no mountains and it's, well it's bloody sunny. But there is one thing that I think might be a bit of a challenge and that's the wildwood camping part of it. Canals are obviously pretty busy places most of the year, people walk in, people live along them. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to find some nice fields or something along the way and hopefully get some good camp spots. But apart from that, it should be a pretty straightforward trip. And there should be lots of this lounging around in the sun. And that is really what I wanted from this trip. Oh, there is actually one other thing that we really need to try and not do. And that's a fall in the canal. Climbing and descending, you will see on this trip, is bridges. time for another break. I'm not going to apologize for having lots of breaks on this trip because that was the plan. This trip is my holiday. Damn, canals are just absolutely beautiful. They are just like another little world. Wherever you go in the world, whatever city, whatever town, if you go to the canal it's like its own little paradise. Whatever's going on in the big city that you're in, if you just come down to the canal, it's just, it's just so nice. Passed a boat a little while ago and the boat's name was No Worries. And well, 
that really sums up what it's like to just be on the canal. It's just a great place to come and have no worries. So I can't promise this video is going to be exciting. It's not really going to be our usual type of bike packing ones when we're on top of mountains. I really like to do sort of different levels of bike packing trips and stuff. So because I know not all you guys want to be taking on mountain top finishes and all the really hard stuff. Sometimes you just want to go on a nice trip and that is why we're doing the canal today. So I have done about 40 miles for the day so we've still got about 100 miles to go now it's around 4 30 pm right now and well like i said i think this trip is going to be kind of hard to find places to camp because i actually haven't seen basically anywhere maybe one place i saw that was probably okay to camp but i was way back um so so what I might have to do is let's sort of come off the canal a bit, maybe find some like footpath rideaways and find somewhere to camp. I'm not sure yet, um, but we'll keep going. I'm probably maybe like 20 miles or so away from Leighton Buzzard. So that's sort of an idea where I am. I'm currently coming through Hemel Hempstead actually. Yeah, okay, cool. And also I couldn't actually find like a full GPX route from London to Birmingham. So I can sort of give you that once it is done. Right, I'm going to have some food and then I'm going to meet you at camp when I finally find it. See you in a bit. Right guys, so I am going to camp like somewhere here and I'm just waiting for the sun to go down. Just sort of scouting this place. I think it's going to be all good. Um, I did have to come away from the uh, canal a little bit, not very far, uh, maybe a mile or two miles. Um, so in the morning we'll go back down and get on there again. Now as is a holiday, we are going to crack open this bad boy. Yep. Cheers. parched. Today is beautiful and quite warm. To be honest, I could take this off and I would be fine. So we'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, I've done about 45 miles a day, just under, because two of them were actually to get to the start point. Um, but yeah, super, super nice and chilled out ride, which this whole ride will probably be. You may be wondering why I opted for the bomb track and that would be a very good question because obviously I do not need that much rubber to do this canal route but when I get to the end when I get to Birmingham when I get to Birmingham I'm actually going to go into Wales and we are going to redo the Trans Cambium Way so make sure you are subscribed for that last time it was wow it was stormy and snowy and yeah we bailed but this time should be different beautiful sunshine so by the, when we eventually get to Birmingham, I'm going to head into Wales, and that is why I'm on the bomb track. Now I am going to chill here, watch the sunset. Hopefully everything will be good, and I can set up my camp now. Today is absolutely beautiful, so all I'm going to do is uh, use the inner part of my uh, tent, my nice netting bit, and uh, yeah, it should be a bloody good night. I'll see you in the morning. Cheers.
Well, good morning guys, and last night was absolutely beautiful and the warmest, warmest night I have had in, well, it feels like forever. Now, I didn't even need my down jacket, I didn't even bring my down jacket on this trip because it is just so warm. Being able to get out of your camp and just basically just wearing your normal clothes, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, sun's starting to rise right now. It's that you know it's time to get up when the birds start singing. They are singing happily today because today is going to be another sunny, sunny day. I'm going to get this uh, camp packed up with the power of editing. We are packed up and ready to get back on the canal. Damn, look how beautiful it is down here this morning. Canals are beautiful as they are, but early in the morning when you're the first one on it, when everyone's still asleep, it is absolutely just, just beautiful. Oh. And I use canals quite a bit, especially when I'm doing these type of bikepacking trips. I'll quite often be like, taking the train for a little bit, then riding a little bit, then taking another train sort of to cut costs and stuff and uh, well, have some fun. So I, of I quite often will see if I can jump on a canal so I can just cruise down traffic free and uh, well get to where I need to be with some uh, beautiful riding. What a beautiful morning, I tell you what, it was warm where I was camping. It's bloody cold down here on the canal. Woo. What a morning. So, so beautiful. I am just coming through the land of roundabouts, which is Milton Keynes. Hopefully they haven't put any roundabouts on the canal. Um, yeah. I am currently at lock number 22. And apparently there is 166 locks on this uh, journey and I'm counting downwards. So there's only, 22 to go or 21 to go um i this this morning has been beautiful but it has actually been pretty damn cold but now the sun somebody has finally turned on the heat of the sun and it's time to have a meal deal we've got a meatball sandwich we've got some fridge raider things and as you know what it's basically summer we're having a fanta fruit twist because you know it's basically summer it feels like it's summer already and um it's just been such a beautiful peaceful peaceful morning definite plan of action for today is carry on for the next maybe like 10 15 miles or so uh, let the sun come up and get warm again and then we are definitely going to have a little mini siesta on this trip. I never do it, so this trip we are definitely going to do it. Just going to find some like field, have a beer, have a Ginsters, and just fall asleep for an hour or so. Let's carry on into this beautiful, beautiful sunshine. <laughs>
Cheers. Right guys, so I have got about 60 miles to go until Birmingham. So today, if I do another 30 miles, 20, 30 miles, I think it will be absolutely perfect because I have a train booked for tomorrow around midday. So that'll be banging. So I am definitely gonna have my siesta. Siesta in this spot. I'm just gonna sleep for like an hour or two and just enjoy the sunshine. Top up these rosy cheeks. And probably get a sunburn. <sighs> perfect, perfect adventure. Super easy, super flat. Just what I needed. All right, I'm gonna enjoy sitting here, enjoy the little, all the boats going past, and uh, just enjoy the sunshine for a bit. And then we'll crack on, get the last. 20 30 miles done today and hopefully find somewhere decent to camp to finish tomorrow right cheers Time to move on from the second best thing that man ever made. The first is obviously the bicycle. The second, I'm going to put it out there. I think the canal is probably one of the good things that man has actually made. Right, let's continue. Ah, canal, we meet again. So this is the uh, Blissworth Tunnel. Opened in March 1805, that was a long time ago. And it takes 25 minutes to actually get through. That's one long tunnel or one slow boat. Probably a bit of both. Ah, right, let's continue with this beauty. If there's anywhere I'm going to fall in, it's going to be here. Another tunnel, you have to detour, kind of go around, nice little bridle way. Uh, it's actually quite fun coming down. Um, just be careful on the steps. Don't go straight into oh, the canal. All right, it's bloody hot today. We're doing making great progress though. We have got 43 miles to go. I probably want to do maybe another 10 miles, I reckon. A little bit less. We're going to come on to the Oxford Canal soon. Um, yeah, I'm just bloody hot. We've done 57 miles though, so it's so nice. Like you can get so much miles out and have a siesta. Perfect. Right, I reckon another 10 miles or so, we're gonna start looking for somewhere to camp. Make sure I get that around about 30 miles left for tomorrow, and um, that should be golden. Right, let's um, carry on, possibly find somewhere to camp soon.
Oh, good morning guys and last night we got just um, just before Warwick so we did pretty good um, we have basically like 30 miles to go and uh, yeah oh, this is why I love this tent like and you can just like chill out look at the trees oh it's just nice last night did actually get pretty cold it got down to about two um, pretty cozy in here and everything but yeah still quite, quite cold out there now I will say now although there are no hills on the canal it does take it out of your legs because there's you have to work for every single mile you have to pedal for every single mile so yeah it is uh, it's actually not all easy it's flat but it's not all easy so I ended up camping the canal is like just there behind them trees there's a little stream here and uh, yeah nice little place um, it's not that easy to find camp spots along the canal though so I was pretty lucky to find this now I've got maybe a little less than 30 miles to get to Birmingham I can probably stop in Warwick find some food and then uh, crack on with the day let's get this packed up and let's go did I mention my camp spot last night and his very own rope swing guys we are coming to the end of the Grand Union Canal the longest canal in England and this trip has been absolutely beautiful nice and peaceful just what I wanted from this trip I am now going to head over to Wales to do take two of the Trans Cambrian Way so if you want to see that also make sure to be subscribed so I'll see you in the next adventure guys keep smiling Enjoy the adventure. Peace!